Yeah, next full moon is only 12 days away. Meanwhile, we're here on a Thursday. We just got all our rewards. We sold off our shit. Uh, we can talk to Elizabeth, that's true. Marvelous. All right, let's get some Twilight I'm Fragments. Let's ask Elizabeth out. I wore blue just for the occasion. My. I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall we be on our way? <laughs> ah, yes, the eternal struggle of humanity. It's quite exemplary. Flowing stairs that pose an obstacle to those who dare to reach another floor. So, mm. this is an escalator. A simple contraption at first glance. But one false step will leave one mired in an exhausting ordeal. To all customers, for your own safety and the safety of others, <laughs> please do not move. They had to give a PSA for Elizabeth, yeah. Thank you. Oh my. It seems that these customers may come to harm. We'd best exercise caution ourselves. Clearly. And what is this? Please watch your step. There is a pitfall just ahead. Indeed. Where is it? Oh. Why, it's right over here. Ah, yes. There, in the center of this fenced off area, it's marked with eye catching signs proclaiming in bold print do not enter. Indeed. Humans are frequently drawn to what has been forbidden. <laughs> This is a crafty snare. Yes. One that defies the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. Right. Flowing stairways, pitfalls employing high level psychological tactics. Right. Human right. Authorities Reverse psychology. truly go to great lengths in their quest to preserve the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their dedication to the cause. Are you not moved, chat? Carry on. Are you not moved? Our thoughts with the unsung heroes who give their love and lives to this town. Oh, this tantalizing fragrance. The burger. Can it be? It is time. Oh, oh okay. Whoa. You can figure out the our octopus secret with just a whiff. Takoyaki. I guess you got a funky sense of smell to go with your funky sense of style, lady. Well, there ain't a law saying takoyaki shops can't cook other stuff besides octopus. That's true. So, how about it? Want to buy some? I swear my takoyaki is so good it'll make your jaw drop. Cuisine so scrumptious that one's jaw can drop off? I, I must try this. Warrant urgent medical care, realistically speaking. But I would very much like a taste. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unfortunately, this is all I have on me at the moment. I do hope this is sufficient. Hey, you're buying that many? <laughs> I have yet to see someone who has actually lost their jaw. That's true. That That's must true. Mean that the ordinary citizen cannot easily afford these. Ah, right. Oh. Good logic. Upon closer inspection, a single serving is only 400 yen. <laughs> oh, well then, two orders of your finest takoyaki, please. Yes. Thanks. Here you go. And come again. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy skin. There's no doubt about it. That looks I real. I must say, I'm surprised to see this used as a cooking ingredient. And when I was in Japan, actually, takoyaki was one of my favorite, like, experiences of going there, was that in Osaka specifically, there's, like, tons of different types of takoyaki that they're, like, really proud to show off like oh this is this style of takoyaki this is this style this is this style this stuff here these these uh these in you know little bits there in the middle and stuff and it was really wild that you essentially could just have takoyaki for a day and you would never get bored of it because you probably only have the same kind of like maybe two or three times maybe so freaking good who here has not experienced takoyaki? I'll try to describe it for you really quick. Okay, so quite a few of you. Okay, so takoyaki is basically like if you took a donut hole, right? Like a fried circular donut hole, 
hollowed out the middle, right? Hollowed out the middle and put dumpling soup in it, right? Like like little bits of like little bits of like gravy liquid in the middle. And then inside that pocket of air and gravy liquid, there was little bits of chewy octopus. So you end up getting this kind of this pop where it kind of is like a like a gravy gusher, you know, like a fried gravy gusher. And it kind of explodes with a little bit of flavor. But because it's heated up, there's also a release of temperature. So you suddenly like get all this heat rushing through you. So a lot of people, when they'll have it, they'll break it just enough that the heat releases, but the liquid does not. And then when you pop it in your mouth, all that just ooey gooey goodness just swirls around in there and you chew it. It's so fucking good. Isn't that just a Hot Pocket? Kind of. Kind of. The difference is that there's way more air in Takayaki. I can't eat octopus, man, that's nasty. You'd be surprised. Ta octopus is not that good. I, I agree with you. I think octopus is kind of just like, eh, okay. But because it's got this chew to it, mixed with kind of the gravy with the fried crunchy bit on the outside. Uh, yeah, it's more saucy, not liquidy. That's a good way to describe it, yeah. So the gravy comes in different flavors. Not actually that often. It can be, but actually what's usually the most different is the meat inside it or the sauces on the outside. The sauces on the outside are actually the part that's the most different, usually. So it can be creamy, it can be savory, it can be spicy, it can be uh, sweet, all kinds of variation there. Every time I've had takoyaki, the outer layer was kind of soggy, and I've heard that authentic takoyaki is a crunchy outside. Yes, authentic takoyaki should have a little crunch on the outside, yes. All right, so how's your jaw? It has yet to even unhinge. Hmm. But for the better, I suppose. For the better. There are many for the better. delicacies yes. I must try. It wouldn't do to lose my jaw before sampling each and every one of them. There appear to be several dining establishments around here. We must simply visit all of them. All of them, my absolutely. The priority is to go to something called a net cafe, where one may use something called a soda fountain. Yes, this yes. Allows soda fountains, let's go. Of flavors by mixing various solutions. Yes. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. I see. Mm. My, oh my. Oh, how intriguing. We appear to have exhausted every dining option in this area. Damn. Oh dear, is something the matter? I feel now sick. Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. Oh yes, our seventh and meal. I must thank you for your delightful company. I shall certainly savor this experience. Classic weak protagonist here. If they were from the U.S., they would still be going strong past the tenth meal. If you don't Disappointing. Mind, I very much appreciate it if you were to escort me again sometime. I return to the Velvet Room with Elizabeth. All right. Let's Here see are if my that requests. gives us Wonderful. reward. Thank you for showing me around Iwatodai Station. The fascinating rides, the dangerous traps, and of course, the cornucopia of curious cuisine. Marvelous. The way people went about their lives there was quite different from those at Polonia Mall the other day. So that I might not forget what we saw, I'd like to recreate some of the dishes we sampled. <laughs> First, I must hunt for ingredients. <laughs> this will be so much fun. Please take this as your reward. A book of the ancients. Sure. Yes. Just, you give me meals of the convenience variety in your local, you know, street market, and I will give you one book of the ancients. You give me burger, I give you Necronomicon. I see this as an absolute win. We can fuse Thoth now. Wonderful. I have given the potent medicine. S I see. So this is the infamous medicine. Let me have a taste right now. Oh my, what an electrifying sensation. Potent indeed. However, its well-balanced components prevent it from being truly lethal. How splendid. The master of the nurse's office must be incredibly skilled. Please take this as your reward. A steel pipe. Also... Magnificent trade offer. Thank you.
<laughs> I love the. I hit them with the uh, the steel pipe. Well, what do they get? Uh, they get confused. Why? Because you hit them with the head on, hit them on the head with a steel pipe, and now their brain is rattled and they're, you know, a little bit shocked and stuff. No, they're confused why I hit an ethereal spirit with a fucking steel pipe <laughs> when we have this legendary, you know, sword with a getsuka tensho ability. Why use that when we can just bang, clang? A well-worn water pipe with a bit of a musty smell. Oh. Who's been doing weird things with the pipe? Yeah, shadows are like... Yo, it's like... It's confusing, man. Yeah, it was Shoto in the lounge with the pipe. At least it wasn't a lead pipe. Then we'd actually inflict the poison condition. Lead poisoning is very serious. Yeah, it's that moment when the mage has been casting fireball and ice wave and mind shatter, and they run out of SP and they're like, all right, and they pull out a steel pipe and they're like, I guess I gotta end this the old-fashioned way. Alright, let's see. We do not have a persona for Kazushi. Do we have one for Kenji? Oh, dude, this isn't good. I, I, I... Oh, we do. I think we might be doing a Kenji. Oh, Espresso-san, how have things been? Actually, I might like to ask you a favor if you have time today. Okay, but for now, let's hang out with our boy. He's a bit distraught. You're the only one I've got. Can we talk? Well, let's go meet up with him. Thanks, thanks. Let's go somewhere we can talk in private. Hey, man. Sorry to make you come here. All right. I, uh, Let's help him out. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Are you in trouble? Yeah. I. I... Dude, it's bad. I don't know what to do. The All school right. found out about Emiri and me. It oh. blew up and became this huge thing. Oh. And now she's being transferred to a school in Kyushu. What do I do? Damn. You. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, damn it. It's gonna be one of these. Do we enable or do we be reasonable? <laughs> Gas him up. <laughs> I hate how much this game social links. Oh, God, wait. If these are the non-romantic social links that all involve enabling, what are all the romantic social links gonna be like? Oh, no. Uh, oh, well, okay. Hmm. Toxic codependency. <laughs> I have a feeling. Yeah, man. You should totally go with her. Yeah, right. You should go with her. Leave me alone. That way I don't have to do your social link anymore. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, I yeah, knew I it! <laughs> I mean, I want to. Only, Emiri said I can't. Of course she did. It's like she's an adult. All of a sudden she's she won't answer my calls or reply to my texts. Yep. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still, I can't just sit here and do nothing. Bro probably actually was believing he was in a relationship, and then he said something to other people, and then it got out, and Emiri's like, we're not in a relationship. I'm literally just giving him private tutoring, and I'm gonna get in trouble because he's spreading all these rumors like we're in a relationship, and there's nothing happening. Yep, there we go. I gotta think of a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. Oh God, Tomochika opened up to me about his troubles. I feel like our relationship is stronger. Well, I'd love to see this plan. Rank eight, though. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Thanks for hearing me. Oh yeah, right. Today. That's voice acting. Forgot about that. All right, back to the dorm. <laughs> this child is delusional and stalking me. We got the black quartz. I won't force you, but if you're willing to hand we that over, I'll sell you those here. glasses for just 10,000 yen. What do you say? Wait, wait, glasses. Hold on, hold on. What was my, what was my motivation? Why am I here again? I mean, yes, it's yours. Why, thank you. Thanks. Why don't you take the glasses at a discount then? Go ahead and have a look around. Oh, for Elizabeth. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should I buy these designer glasses for 10,000 yen? Sure. Why, thank you. Yeah. We'll check over here. Good day. 
do our request I'm here. Accepting a request. Wonderful. It seems you've completed a request. Hmm, while these glasses have a simple design, they do somehow feel sophisticated. Admittedly, I've taken a strong liking to them. Now to put them on. Oh my god, yes. Behold the new me. Yay! How embarrassing. <laughs> my apologies. These glasses just suit me so well, I couldn't help but get a little carried away. The moment I slipped them on, I felt my spirits lift. Glasses are truly a gem that complete a person's style. You have my thanks. It makes me want to wear them all the time. Thank you for bringing me a pair. Oh, five power incense? Oh! Oh, we take those. I will say, actually, as a member of the large forehead gang, um, glasses actually do, re I, glasses work really well on me, but um, I don't need them, so it feels kind of superficial to wear them, you know? Let's go find uh, our boy. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's right, Fuka. Um, um, yes, can I help you? What are you doing? Oh. Do you want to continue reading that sci-fi novel together? Um, if you're not too busy, I mean. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Um. Yeah, let's read together. All right. Hell yeah. Glad to hear it. Okay, I'll go get them from my room. So the other day, I yeah. read the novel I'm reading to a classmate. I don't talk to her much, but at the time we were discussing a movie we'd both seen. Ooh, yeah, yeah. She wasn't too keen on the recommendation and turned me down, though. I've been there. It's because the series looked hard to get into. There are so many volumes. Ah. She's missing out. Yep. If she just gave it a chance, I know she would see how interesting it is. The basic premise is about journeying to other planets, and even that by itself already sounds intriguing. Yeah. The writing is so unique and poetic. I can't help but get sucked in. Recommending something to someone is a really tricky thing, huh? It really well, is. Thank you anyways. I appreciate you showing interest in that book. I will tell you all, it is a skill to artfully recommend something to somebody without coming across too intense, especially if you're passionate about it. I used to be so bad at this. I was so bad at this. In fact, in some ways, I'm still making up for how bad I was at this. I was the person that was constantly like, oh, you gotta try this, you gotta try this, you gotta try this. Oh my God, you gotta try this. It is, a, it is an art form. Like, it took me watching the way other people that did it well, like, actually do it, to get any kind of idea of how to do it well. Okay, I think I'll read a little further myself. <sighs> I finished the whole thing. One sitting, damn. I feel like my academics have improved. gets dumped into the academic's void. Time flies by so quickly. Let me know your thoughts on it next time. Well then, good night. All right, perfect. Oh, who wants to hang out? Hopefully it's Yuko. Good morning, Oh, this is Elizabeth. Okay. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. God damn it. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. I just had to wait two more days. I just had to wait two more days. I just had to wait two more fucking days. All right, here's where we need to get methodical. We're hitting that point where we have a lot of social links and a lot of them are available at like consistent like amounts. But some of them are only available a few times. So we need to start hitting certain social links to all be at around eight or nine. Like maybe seven, eight or nine, around there. And then we'll start to close them off based on the schedules that they have associated with them. So we gotta, we gotta cook here. We gotta cook a little bit. Kenji feels like He's the one that they introduced first, so we should finish him earlier than not. The school stuff, yes, there's definitely a lot of school stuff, so we need to get those done. There's a possibility of hidden stat ranks that are available that are like locking things off between like ranks that we gotta get up to. So the tricky thing is that we should probably focus 
also as much on getting the uh, the ones that are kind of like in the lower ranks up a little bit into that like middle ranks too. There are vast amounts of times you can't do any student things. Right, so like like exams and stuff, but then also like, uh, oh wait, no, those days are entirely skipped. You don't even get nights. That's the thing that's weird about this game. There's like no nighttime social links. Or if there are, I'm fucked and I haven't unlocked them yet. At least the positive thing is that the main three girls right now seem to be all locked behind social stats, which is pretty good. I kind of also want to set up either Kenji or Kazushi to be at like rank eight or nine and then like leave them for a bit, you know? Knights are for stat grinding. Yeah, I've, I've gotten that vibe as well because they really need you to get these stats up like fast. Yeah, we're, we're doubling down on Kenji, I guess. Thanks. All right, then today's ramen is on me. You're good with ramen, right? Yeah, let's do ramen. Hey man, I was gonna wait to tell you this until we sit down to eat, but I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emiri. Wow! So this'll be the last time we have ramen together. No way. Emiri? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh! He's about to get dumped so hard. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's time to pour one out for the boy. Are y'all ready for this? This is gonna be, yep, this is gonna be brutal. Who's that she's with? Oh, even better, even better. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh shit. <laughs> this poor kid is about to get absolutely destroyed emotionally. Uh. I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. Yeah. But he's just a kid. He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. He, he should be grateful. It seems like he's the one who spread the rumors. Yep, yep. No other students are. Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. Yeah, Dad! <laughs> oh no! What? <laughs> she was engaged! She was engaged the whole time! Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna drink in the, the tears of my uh, social links. Yep. Mm. He did see Bride to be on her bed. That's true. That's true. He's literally, oh my God. He's Hal from Megamind. He's literally a young Hal from Megamind. We need to nip his like nice guy shit in the bud. Holy, he, whoa. Bro, bro thought he was him. This is a kid. Okay, so he's 16. He's a kid, yeah. But like, he's not like a 10 year old. He's not an idiot. No, I'm saying he's not actually Hal right now, guys. You guys are misinterpreting what I'm saying. I'm saying he he could have become Hal. Like that's that's the road he could have been on because he had nothing that she was saying that they were gonna be in a relationship. Like all the stuff that he was saying was based on like his own like kind of perception of things. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see though. Wait. Emily. So I guess today was the day she was leaving. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I. I. Oh, wow. Look at these responses. <laughs> we can laugh at him. We can go, let me handle this. And then we have, cheer up, man. Oh, my God. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We've been enabling him the whole time up until now, right? I think that given that we're enabling here, cheer up man is a bit like, hey, it's gonna be okay, but also, nah, you know, like, yeah. So let's go with, let me handle this. Yeah. Life's too short not to laugh. <laughs> but it's not voice acted, so what's the point? Like, we saved, you just pick three. We did save. We did save. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> it is kind of funny, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Why, Emmy Reed? Oh. Why? My nose is running. <laughs> Thanks. If you weren't here, I'd... If you weren't here, you... Oh. Let's try to tough out the pain. If our like, relationship is stronger. Alright, so now we'll rewind. <laughs> let's... Yeah, let's go home. Yeah, yeah. Alright, the faded decision. You know, let me handle this. Yeah. I got you. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thanks, though, man. It's not Emery's fault anyway. I screwed things up. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's okay. Why, Emery? Why? Oh. Now my nose is running. <laughs> Thanks. If you weren't here, I'd. Demochika's trying to tough out the pain. I feel like our relationship is stronger. Alright, cool. Much better, yeah. Um, um, can I help you? Um, I know the chairman means well, but sometimes I just don't know how to react to his jokes. But I also feel bad pretending I didn't hear him, so what should I do? Uh, just fake a laugh, no. Just be true to your heart. I do think it's important to listen to your heart, but this is a special exception. I tell him his jokes aren't funny, it'll hurt his feelings. What, do you have a social link with him or something? Like, who cares? Fuck him. You don't need those exclamation points or whatever. Dude, why is he even here? How are you doing? The mood around here has been so serious lately. I thought I would lighten things up. So today I will be performing my top 20 puns for everyone. This is one of the chairman's indulgences as to whether his jokes are actually humorous or not. Well, it would be quite boorish of us to make such comments on the matter to his face. You'll simply have to get used to it. Just try to ignore him if he gets to be too much. <sighs> Meanwhile, Yukari's over here like, Bartender, I'll have your stiffest drink. This dumbass is over here asking if my refrigerator is running and I'm gonna strangle him if he says, well, I better go catch it one more goddamn time. Hey! Hey, you got a sec? You know that sauteed chicken I messed up last night? I figured what went wrong. This time, I'm gonna do it right. Sounds like Yukari wants to cook together. I mean, um, I, I can cook. Not well, but I can cook. <laughs> All right. Let's do some favor. Let's spend time with her. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Um, this is kind of embarrassing, but will you help me out with my homework? It's math to be specific. Let's talk about it more at the library. Okay, yeah. A treasurer who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? I never even Aww. wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh. Oh, uh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. <laughs> that feels like one of the voices that I would give one of these students. Shut up. You're distracting us. This is actually great because <laughs> we might actually finally help break down that mental barrier that people have between math and arithmetic. They are not the same thing. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But what? if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. What are you going on about now? 
come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. All right, fine. <laughs> They're really gonna kiss? Do they not know where they are? They have no shame. <laughs> where did they go? <laughs> Shoto is like, where do they go? So I can tell other people not to watch them over there. They have no shame feels like it's the right way to do it, but it also feels like it's something where it's like, it's not leaving things open enough for us, you know? Yeah, for research, for research purposes, we are here at the library. I feel like we gotta do this one here. Cause it's got that same similar like, <gasps> No, really? That's not what's important right now. Oh, shit. This is supposed to be a place of learning, and they're still just kids. Wait, they are? What about you, Chihiro? So I say this, as a member of the student council. Oh. That kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school. We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. Um, just to experiment here. You don't like kissing? Since we're rewinding. Th that's not the point here. I'm just trying to say that there's a time and place for everything. Oh no, I, I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but I don't want you to get criticized, too. Huh. You can tell is concerned about me. Huh. All right, well, we'll re rewind that. But that's interesting. Oh, I didn't notice the time. Hmm. Um, I think I'm going to be stuck here for a while, so you don't need to wait for me. All right, back to the dorm. Jihiro, your justice is showing. That, that is a good point. There's almost a little bit of that lawful neutral in her that kind of shocked me, honestly. It's a bit too confrontational for her personality. I felt like very confrontational. Well, she is justice. That doesn't mean she's that. necessarily confrontational. Doesn't that sound she's silently judging. Oh, <laughs> ah, I see. Judgment, yes. Joined... <laughs> Standard justice answers, like a catchy. Kissing in public. Disgusting. Hmm. They have no shame. That's right. I agree. Hmm. This is supposed to be a place of learning. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I. Yes, you say. What kind of inappropriate behavior. Right. We should no notify. Yes, I agree. Mm hmm. If you're on my side, then I have nothing to fear. Unhinged Akechi is still my favorite thing in this series. You know what? I fucking hate you. Um. All right. Um, hey. You know those couples who came down with apathy syndrome? It's a hot topic in my class, but I can't figure out why they've been attacking groups of two specifically. I just don't see the point. This is all part of the Shadow's plan. I hope we can figure something out with our investigation. Anyways, let's keep our chins up. Hey, do you know how to use the DVD player here? I thought I might as well use it once in a while. I had this compilation of some of the greatest matches between boxing legends. Watching professional techniques like this will surely help us in our own battles. Ooh. I like that idea. But, for now, I've got to talk with everybody. By the way... I heard there are a lot of couples joining the Lost lately. I heard a lot of the people joining the Lost lately are couples. I'll try not to assume what they were doing together just before the dark hour. But anyway, it seems like the next shadow is starting to make its move, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey! Hey, you think you should check those planters up there? You know you're not supposed to give them too much water, but what if they're not getting enough? It's a good point, buddy. I gotta go check my great vegetables. I forgot when I'm supposed to pick them. Oh, tomorrow. Perfect. Wonderful. Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. Hey. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Things are not running as smoothly as planned. It still has the potential to turn a profit. But, I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get things back on track. 
Are you willing to increase your investment by that much? Fine. Give man 10,000 yen. <laughs> Yes, yes, very good. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. Goodbye. Well. Well. Love that. Love that. All right. I think boxing legend stuff sounds like a great time, so let's do that. All right, let's watch together. All right. Let's start watching. Just from looking at a single jab. You can tell how different everything is at the top level. Hell yeah. And not only Hell are yeah. both fighters strong, they each have their own unique fighting style. What kind of fighter is your favorite? Ah, let's go for a fighter with slick footwork. Yeah. I get that. The essence of boxing is to land hits without getting hit yourself. I tend to rely on footwork in my matches too. But someday, I'm hoping to master the style of infighting. Oh, yeah. Hajime no Ippo. Yeah. News again? I can see there's a lot to learn from professional matches. Plus, when I do it here, I have someone to discuss things with. Let's do this again next time you're free. All right. Let's go. I feel like my courage had improved from watching the intense bo boxing matches. Man. Watching those guys fighting is making it hard for me to sit still. You want to head to my room and wail in the punching bag for a bit? Akiko is my favorite ADHD, battle sexual <laughs> anime uh, side character. It's yep. amazing you little shit! You owe me 30,000 yen! I'm gonna call you on live TV! Oh. Hey. Oh, oh espresso could. Madokun was just telling us about the elementary school dorm. By the way. Speaking of which, Espresso Sun lives in the school dorms too, doesn't he? Yep, that's right. He lives in the same dorm as me, Yukatan, and the others. Huh? What? It's okay for boys and girls to stay in the same dorm? Um, um actually it's usually not. But our dorms has some special circumstances. We're just cool like that. Right, Shoto? Hell yeah. Can you talk to them twice, by the way? Okay. What are the rules like in the elementary school door? Is it less strict since it's all kids? It's normal. We have to put away whatever we take out, and we need permission to take food from the fridge. Pretty much stuff that's just common sense. Oh, that sounds more strict than I thought. Jinpei, why don't you go live at the elementary school dorm and learn some discipline? All right, spend time with Maya. I think I'll spend the day playing games online. Hell yeah, I will. It's a sunny day. It's time for MMOs. I'm in Shinagawa Dungeon. I see Maya. Whoa, did you just get here? We signed on at the same time. The weather's nice today, huh? Let's go outside. <laughs> in game, duh. Tresto. Whee! Shinagawa. A great colored sky stretches as far as the eye can see. A barren wasteland lies before Tatsuya and Maya. Maya is stretching. For an apocalypse, the air sure is nice out here. Ugh. Yeah, right. It's just a game. We should go level or something. I'm so lazy, RL Tatsu. I haven't even gotten dressed or put on makeup. Maya stands at attention. I'm so pissed off right now. Mystery is such a stupid SOB. I love the double middle finger emote. That's that's amazing. Did streamer ever lose a part of his life to MMOs? Oh my god, let me tell you. How many of y'all in chat are tired of hearing these stories? <laughs> ever since I was like 15 years old, I've been playing MMOs. Like ever since. So, long time, long time. I started off like anybody does. To be fair, to be fair, you guys are gonna laugh, but I had access to a PC pretty early on, but it was like the family PC, you know? What I ended up doing was I played an MMO on, this is kind of wild to think about, but just thinking about the time that this was, on the early days of Facebook, there was an old, old kind of games marketplace that you could play on Facebook way back when. 
Back in the days of Mafia Wars and old Farmville and stuff like that, they had this game called My Hero's Ability. And this game was basically like one of those, you spend a limited amount of energy and you're able to do stuff like that. Yeah, this is back before Zynga was big. Like Zynga was still coming out with like games. This was based on the NBC Heroes show, you know, Save the Cheerleaders, Save the World with Peter Petrelli and Hiro Nakamura. Yeah, that's forever ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played in that game, but not only did I play that game, as a 15 year old and my edgy self, I created a guild. I don't remember what it was called at the time. They weren't called guilds, but I created a group that could bring people into it. And I made a fake Facebook account so that no one would know who I was, right? So I made this fake Facebook account to game. And then I invited people into my group and I pitched to them this idea of how to farm XP in a really like uh, efficient way. And everyone would get a role based on how they would help the farmers stay alive so that they could keep farming the XP in these like live text-based zones that if you entered the zone, you could rapid click your abilities to kill things to get XP, but anybody could jump in and PVP you and just delete you. So apparently enough people liked the idea that our group ended up being like, like I think it was around 300 people. And for the time, we were in like the top, like, I don't know, 50 groups in the world. So I needed to actually like delineate the roles and responsibilities to people. So I assigned in this group that we called ourselves the Black Hand because that was the name of the assassin group that started World War I. <laughs> so this group that was based off of an edgy teens like, ooh, this is our cool name, you know, ended up having four full on adults with jobs that like, you know, adults really, that were actually running the way in which people would come on at specific times to then get the XP, right? They had no idea who I was, but they all got on Vent, you know, on Ventrilo, and were like, we need to like coordinate better, but also we should get to know each other so we should play games. They had like a title of like council members or something like that. Some, some, some edgy shit. But of course they kind of wanted me to join in, but I was like, no, I can't do that because, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't, I, you know, I don't want to do that basically. And I think I tried to play it off as like, no, I need to stay in the shadows or some shit. But it was basically just that I couldn't afford a mic or didn't have access to anything that could use Ventrilo, right? So I'm sure these guys knew like, oh, this is either a kid or it's a girl that doesn't want to reveal they're a girl on the internet because that was a thing back then. But one of them was like, no, you should come join us. We're gonna start a group that will go through Wrath of the Lich King together when it comes out, right? Because Burning Crusade is at its like peak popularity right now. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds awesome. I love MMOs and, you know, games like World of Warcrafts and stuff like that. And I think they clued in. So they were like, bro, like, send us your address and we'll just buy you, like, the game and, like, a bunch of, like, game time cards. So I and my dumbass self decide, you know what? I trust these guys. I'm their leader, you know? You know, they, they'll, they'll, they'll be cool. I give my home address to one of them to send me the, the World of Warcraft game. <laughs> I'm like 15 and 16 years old. I think I'm 15, almost 16. I've been running this for like six months, okay? So, so, not only do I end up getting a box that looks really suspicious. It's like got tape all over it, like really scuffed writing on the outside there. And of course, of course my dad gets it. And my dad gets this box that's shipped to me, but it doesn't say my name. It just says, you know, oh, you know, to, uh, I, think it, I think it said to, uh, to, to just Caleb. Like I didn't give my last name specifically. <laughs> The, the best part was like, he's looking at this, he's like, Caleb, did you buy something from 
like, Texas or something. And I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, I bought something. It's a game. I bought a game. I don't have a job. How do I have money, right? And he's looking at me like, um, so, you mind if I open it with you? And I was like, uh, no, yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, for sure. And he's just kind of looking at me like he knows I'm lying. He opens it up. Okay, you know when they delivered the World of Warcraft games in those like big boxes that were very long and wide but had very narrow, like very narrow heights, you know? It was the full World of Warcraft and Burning Crusade pack, basically, where it comes with both of them in the same thing, right? And it was the actual game. And I'm like, yeah, see that? I'm gonna play World of Warcraft online. And he goes, oh, cool. Um, where'd you get the money for this? And I just said, uh, birthday money. I've been saving it. <laughs> and he's like, all right, okay. This is where my lie completely fell through. He pulls out the, the game, cause he's like, I wanna look at this to see if this is a safe game for my kid, right? Pulls it out. Guess how many game time cards were underneath the box? Guess how many 30 day game time cards were underneath there? So these are each $15, right? There were like 20 or like 25. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> someone with their World of Warcraft edition was like, I'm gonna set up some dumbass kid. They're gonna be addicted to World of Warcraft forever. And my dad looks at me and is like, your birthday money, huh? And then I had to explain what I did and everything. And he had to explain to me how much, how stupid I was. And he's like, Caleb, come on, come on. You can't give out our home address online. Like you're lucky, you're lucky that this is what was sent here. You're lucky. And I was just like, yeah, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, all right. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, my dad was cool about it, but he was basically like, hey, you probably made a good friend online. They're probably a pretty cool person, but I'm gonna let you know they're an adult. The kind of money that they spent here means that not only are they an adult, but they're, you know, very addicted to this game. So you need to make sure that you don't become addicted to this game as well. You know, spend a reasonable amount of time on it. I was like, okay. I proceeded to spend an unreasonable amount of time playing World of Warcraft from ages 16 to 17. <laughs> like an unreasonable amount of time. But the thing was is that after that, I ended up uh, taking school a lot more seriously because I ended up kind of becoming a social, like, meet, basically, for that time. And I lost, like, a lot of connections with people, so I had to kind of reset when I turned 17. And I put away World of Warcraft for a time, and that's my origin story with MMOs. But yeah, no, I played uh, Wrath of the Lich King on launch. I was a Tauren Druid. They were, uh, my friend was an undead mage that basically protected me as I wandered Azeroth and I would just stealth around and like PVP people just for the f for the fun of it. Like even if I was way under leveled or way over leveled, I would just always PVP anybody on site. Strathholm was like my favorite zone for just fucking with people once I was like level 36 or 37. So I'm like four or five levels above people. And I would just be like, hey, hey, hey. And this undead mage at like level 60 was like, yeah, so my dumbass friend is over there and he won't leave. And he's like, you need to level up. I'm like, no, 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 this is more fun. <laughs> and if I ever got people that were like, actually like pissed off at me because they wanted to kill me and stuff, my favorite tactic, my favorite tactic in the old school WoW was to kill and attack somebody in cat form, turn into leopard form, run away. As they're catching up with me on my mount, I would find an endless cliff that would go to the water. I would jump off of it in cat form, transform at the bottom, because you take no falling damage from landing in water, transform into my water form, and just get away. I was such a fucking gremlin in that game. Oh my god. It was so wild. All right, so that's my MMO story. There you go. We, uh, we, we tirated enough there. Uh, are you drunk again? <laughs> 
you mean SOB? Uh, wait, none of these actually seem like they would give points. Drunk again means like it's something that we remember. SOB, no, that means we don't actually vibe with the elite speak. And Mr. E is being like, uh, in case she's told us already, we've forgotten. It has to be one of these two, right? But I can see none of them giving points. Her points aren't intuitive, damn it. So if they're not intuitive, then it's gonna be the boring one, which is probably this one. Hey, there we go. Tasia, you know too much now. I shouldn't have mentioned his name, huh? <laughs> I done get me busted, okay? Well, Maya seems happy. Maya's looking around. Um, there aren't that many players anymore. Most of them left for that new MMO, cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. There are a lot of dupers and gold farmers, but still. It's good though, because it lets us talk about personal things, right? Maya is a shy girl, you know. <laughs> well, see, Mr. E is a teacher who's kind of above me. Oh no, you can't figure out what my job is, can you? Wait. Oh shit. Are we gonna end up meeting her IRL? Well, let's do this, because then we can rewind in case it's not this. Are you a teacher? Yeah, you're smart. I knew you'd figure it out. You get an A plus for reading comprehension today. Well, <laughs> Maya seems happy. Well, now you know I'm a teacher. Hey, I just figured something out. When I complain to you, I feel better afterwards. From now on, we have to party up together, okay? Promise. Seems Maya feels comfortable talking to me about real life. I feel like we're growing closer. Okay. I'm so pumped. I think I'll clean the bathroom. <laughs> it's been two months. Oh! Maya's player signed off. Oh! Maya signed back on. Don't tell anyone about that SOB stuff, okay? It's our little secret. Maya's player signed off. I decided to log out as well. <laughs> we come down the stairs. Nobody's here. They're all out living their lives, and I'm like, sweaty gamer. I have the stink of fantasy RPG with no players in it, uh, kind of smell, you know? Hey, here they are. Mm. Looks like Kirijo Senpai and Sonata Senpai aren't around, so let's go to Tartarus some other time. I think I'll go to bed early tonight since I usually stay up so late. <laughs> Ahem, Jinpei the Wise has come to a startling conclusion. There is no top to Tartarus. Are you stupid or something? Whoa, he's finally snapped. I guess his brain has reached its expiration date. <laughs> Actually, that's an interesting idea. It's almost philosophical. But wouldn't that create a big problem for us? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. All right, then Tartarus does have a top after all. Let's leave it as that. Hey. I wonder what's at the top of Tartarus. If this was an adventure novel. There'd probably be some kind of treasure. Oh, hell no. I got it, there's a giant pinata. And when you break it, Candy pours out a huge banner that says, congratulations, you've beaten Tartarus. Jeez. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Maybe there's like some sort of device and once we destroy it, Tartarus will disappear. Morning. Oh, hey. In about a week, there'll be another mission. That's right, yep. Yeah. I wonder what we'll face this time. Do we just keep on going on these missions until we defeat all eight remaining shadows? Blindly following orders to get stronger by going to Tartarus and fight shadow after shadow? <sighs> I've been thinking about this for a while. I feel like Kibijo Senpai is hiding something from us. Yeah. Yeah. Please sit down so we can begin today's lesson. Ada Ada Loada Dia. I knew you were expecting Miss Terahachi. Terauchi. She's had an emergency. I'll be taking over for class today. We're gonna learn a bit about natural magic. It's not too dissimilar to paganism, which we've already discussed. Natural magic is obviously enough magic that draws the power from nature. The most popular form of this would probably be herbalism. Calendar-based spells are also a form of natural magic since they involve the seasons. Now, some of you may already be familiar with dowsing, which uses a pendulum or rod to find things underground. This too is a form of natural magic first used to detect sources of water. That's enough examples for now. Let's move on to the proper mindset for natural magic. First, you must recognize yourself as a part of nature and accept its power. 
In other words, think of humanity as a microscopic player within the cosmology of the universe. This mindset is based on the concept of the four classical elements. Ancient magicians believed that different objects sharing a common element would react to one another. They performed countless experiments attempting to prove their hypothesis about nature. Are you all listening? I certainly hope so. <laughs> Here's a little test to see if you're paying attention. You'll receive an ill omen if you get it wrong. Ada ada lo ada ia. Okay then. Uh, now who to pick today? Espresso, you have been called upon. What form of natural magic is used to find water sources? Dowsing. Correct. Excellent work, your answer's correct. As for your omen, no news is good news. But back to the main subject. Prayer is considered integral to many forms of natural magic. One characteristic of natural magic prayer is that much of it is in praise of the Earth Goddess. This ties into the concept of natural magic as a way of invoking nature's blessing. As time passed, natural magic developed into natural science. In this transition, though, a key element was lost, the notion of time being controllable. Natural magic forbids the use of spells that go against the standard flow of time. Its practitioners believe that magic should not defy nature, and to this day, take great care to follow natural law. Okay, game. So if you're wanting to give me some world building about the general stuff as to why we're dealing with Tartarus and the Dark Hour and all that stuff, what the fuck are you on about? Like, what is he smoking? I can't see how any of this is going to be relevant. We're going to have that moment where we go back and it's like a catchy and it's like, did you notice when Edogawa-san, sorry, Edogawa-sensei was being like, oh, but the natural magic, the flow, and the way in which you're connected and worshiping the earth goddess. Yes, yes, clearly. I mean, Edogawa did talk about Itsunagi and Itsunami in P4. Oh my God, he did. That was one time, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Edogawa is the kind of character that says one interesting thing and 5,000 useless things. Okay. Let's go to Mr. Why So Serious. All right. Simple Gear is like that, absolutely. Spent some time working with the student council. Hours flew by as I worked hard on my tasks. I don't see Odagiri. Is he absent today? Hmm. Possibly. Um, no. I'm pretty sure he came to school today. Then where is he? Probably busy playing detective asshole. <sighs> ah, so this is what Fushimi was telling me about. I see. Well, his intentions are good, so you can't really blame him. But I understand how you feel. Ah, oh, uh, you're all free to leave now. Good work today. Oh shit. You hear me? I want to see evidence, smart guy. I don't need evidence. I already know everything about you. Like how you were arrested for beating up that guy in the park who snitched on you. Oh. Right? Oh, here we go. Well, he's still at it. This is the third time today. My boyfriend was so pissed after he was accused. This guy's really asking for it. Keeping quiet will only make things worse for you. If it's really not you, then give me some names. <sighs> and don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. Better fuck off, asshole. Oh, shit! This guy looks like he's about to hit Odagiri. Hmm. Wait and watch. But we need points, y'all. Rewind, that's true, that's true. Shitty day. Don't think I'll just let you get away with that. Oh, hey, what is it? Did you need something from me? Uh, looks like you're hard at work. <laughs> 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 if we turn a blind eye here, there's no stopping this from happening again. Wow. And once it spirals out of control, there will be nothing we can do. We should nip this problem in the bud while we still can. I know what people think of me. Then again, those who fight for justice have always butted heads with others. 
History speaks for itself. <sighs> Fights for justice. Does Odagiri have a crush on Chihiro? Are you fighting for justice? So let my actions serve as a warning to other offenders. A sensible person like you should understand. Hmm. Right. Seems like Odagiri's starting to trust me. I feel like we're becoming better friends. Hmm. We probably got enough points for a level up anyway, so probably don't even need to go back. I'm going to keep at it for now. You should head home before it gets dark. Part of ways. Oh, it doesn't give points and they need to rewind. Oh, cool. Nice. Nice. Hey, sorry to bother you, Fuka. Oh, cool. Cool. What's this? It's okay. What's on your mind? Well, uh, I've been investigating. I was hoping you could do me a favor. With your skill, I mean. I was doing some research on our school. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Came across something strange. Let her cook. Let her cook. Ten years ago, a lot of students stopped coming to school for some reason. Mm. They were reported as absent at the time, but I found some records that suggest otherwise. Mm. Do you know anything about it, Fuka? Me? Um, not really. I know it was a long time ago, but... Doesn't it seem suspicious to you? From what I've heard, this isn't the first time shadows have appeared. Mm -hmm. All this infrastructure Wait, is here. Are you saying? Yep. Uh huh. I don't know, but I do wonder. And I'm not trying to make trouble or anything, but Kirijo Senpai acts kind of weird whenever someone brings up Tartarus. She does. Okay, okay. I love that Yukari's actually like pushing for this because the thing that's the most suspicious to me is this feels literally like we're like, what's the name of the secret organization in NGE? It's something like C's. It's actually like very similar. It's like um, Nerve, Nerve, right, 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 right. It's Nerve, yeah, yeah, yeah. This game borrows a ton for NGE. I'm feeling it. I'm literally feeling it. Yes. The way in which we kind of have these like regular impacts, if you will, of the shadows just kind of coming with the advent of this, you know, moon, almost like it's in a cycle and stuff. So it's the idea of like, wait, so logic would, you know, dictate that then this has been coming every year for, you know, once a month. So, so then the infrastructure being here for the idea of studying this phenomena is interesting. But if the idea that there was a beginning point, it obviously was before this because the Kirijo group or whoever is funding all this nonsense is finding it very worthwhile to go and use, you know, to use resources to devote into this, to invest into this. So, oops. Does she? Oh, I actually clicked my mouse there. Um, so, therefore, this has been happening for a while, but not just a while. There are other people with other, other motivations for probably exploiting the dark hour, which it would be very beneficial for a corporation or a business or something like that for the whole, oh, we get an extra hour in the day. Yeah, that's nuts. That's actually nuts. Buying time, basically. I just want to know what happened back then. And if it doesn't have anything to do with the shadows, then fine. I understand. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Oh, no shit. SEAL was the name of the secret organization. NERVE was the organization used as the front. That's right. So it's even more. It's even more on the nose. That's right. Wow. Um, um can I help you? Um, oh, um, you were just talking about all girl stuff. That's all. It's not like I was asked to look into anything or something or anything. No, it's really nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Hey, will this be a rank 10? It's a rank 10! Oh shit! Read Kenji's message, yeah. Hey cutie, espresso's on, are you free today? Let's go on a date. I wanna eat ramen together. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I, I think we should do it. We've always had someone else available on the Kenji days, so we're not missing out on a day by doing Kenji now. What's up? Hey, what's up? I got nothing to do today. If you're not busy, let's go get some ramen. Let's do it. Right. right let's go. I'm gonna get an extra large special today and, hmm, should I also order a rice bowl? Another day, another bowl of ramen. 
And a final day with Kenji. <laughs> Despite its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor that's enhanced by the noodles. Damn, this really is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? I feel that. Miss Kano must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. I'm stealing your egg! Nice little distraction! Hey, dude, give that back! <laughs> that egg's all I got in this world, man. Hand it over or else. <laughs> we chatted for a while. Man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. Want me to find you a girl? Really? Who? Someone from your dorm? Oh. Sounds like I should be making more surprise visits. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went. Ah, down. good man, good man. When Emmy left, I was sad, sure. But on top of that, I felt really dumb. Did uh. I really love Emmy? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot. Mm. But I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> what I did figure out is you're a true friend. Right. Are we, we still talking about love? <laughs> That's right, we're great friends, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> Damn it, why do I say such embarrassing things? God, I'm such a dumbass. Anyway, here, take this. It's the key to fuse a very powerful persona. I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of, nah, so <laughs> I wanted to help you out. Maybe that voice acting was good. It's do, right? It's yeah. a symbol of our friendship. Hell yeah. Demochika told me I'm his best friend. I feel a strong bond with Demochika. Damn, Demochika doesn't have many friends. <laughs> I am thou, and thou I art I. Oh, sorry. Thou art I. Sorry. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the magician arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the magician within thyself. Mm. Which is... Ring! Unbreakable Link maxed out one social link. Hell yeah. You can now fuse Futsunushi, the warrior god. All right, all right, let's go. Man, I worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. More eggs, please. Make it 10. <laughs> Most guys spent hours hanging out and we'll never see him again. <laughs> oh shit, okay, okay. Oh, there you are. We ran into a bit of a snag again. Some of the other investors decided to drop out. And since there are a few investors, everyone was making even more of a profit. So would you mind investing some more? Just 10,000 yen more? That should be plenty. Are you in? <laughs> There's no way this game is like, we're just gonna keep doing this. Eventually you'll say... No, right? Eventually. I gave the man 10,000 yen. My foolish little apprentice. Have you not yet realized that you are being deceived? Everything I've said has clearly been suspicious. Huh. Ignorance should be a crime. I'm sure, you have some redeeming qualities, but if you remain this naive, everyone will take advantage of you. Stick with me and I'll show you how to be a winner. This man seems to be serious. Should I spend some time hearing him out? Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you insist, I'll give you my autograph. It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. <laughs> uh, who are you? <laughs> All right, you look familiar. Oh my! It's so very difficult being famous. I can hardly go anywhere without being uh. recognized. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen the home shopping program. Tanaka's amazing. I'm your commodity. biggest yes? customer. Allow me to introduce myself. A man handed me a business card. 
It says Tanaka, President and CEO. That's right. I'm Tanaka himself. Surely you've heard the name. I'm afraid it's I can't Patrick offer Sites? any returns on your 40,000 yen, but I've autographed my business card for you. Oh shit, it is Patrick Sites! Whoa! Hold on to that. It'll be worth a pretty penny in a year or so. It uh, is! And with that, <laughs> I must be going. It's the, yeah, it's the Dio English voice actor, yeah. He's done a lot of characters in anime. Like, a lot of characters in anime. Yeah, he's, yeah, the easiest Arcana guess ever. Yeah, I already guessed it a while ago. If they do anything other than the Devil Arcana, I will be extremely surprised. Tanaka signature. Doesn't he realize he's in the presence of a star? Time Wait, is money. No, is he a star? Mine. Is he the star arcana? I've squeezed a few more payments out of him. That would be such a twist. Sounds like he's talking about me. Uh, talk to him. <clears throat> what do you want? Quit disturbing me. Get out of here. Shoo. You. You overheard me talking to myself just now, didn't you? <laughs> You'll forget it ever happened if you know what's good for you. I belong to a powerful talent agency. I'm practically a celebrity. I have an image to maintain. Then give Don't me back my 40,000 yen. about telling someone that I took your money or called you a little brat, capiche? Whatever you say. Ah, don't get cute with me. You think you can get away with anything with that pretty face of yours? Hey, hey, Chota Mate, what, what? Oh, <laughs> silly me. I've let you in on my little secret, haven't I? <laughs> uh, don't tell anyone, okay? Please, I'll lick your shoes clean if you want me to. I don't care. So, you won't tell anyone, right? You better be ready to cross your heart and hope to die if you're lying to me. A verbal agreement is a form of contract, and if you breach it, I'll sue your pants off. Damn, brat, I'll sue! Wait! Wait! Abort! Tanaka is the big bad! Oh no! And we know he wins! Because he's in P4 and P5! Shit! Shit! We're fucked! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh no! <laughs> President Tanaka! A corporation! Oh no! Oh no, and he's voiced by Dio! It all makes sense! I've got your adorable little face etched into my memory. Seems to have taken an interest in me. I'm now acquainted with Tanaka, the producer of a home shopping TV show. Finally met the boss. Yeah, <laughs> Tanaka, greater than Shido. Yeah, he's the devil. Uh, yep, of course he is, now, yeah. Of course he is. To create the persona of the devil are Yeah, God. thank you, thank you. Why can't he be a lover? Because he's in the closet. I don't make the rules. Or a diamond in the rough, my boy. All you need is a little polishing, and you'll sparkle. I often take my breaks here. I'd be happy to mold your young mind whenever you wish. Ew. Ew. The party ways with President Tanaka. I decided to return to the dorm and take a shower. Ugh. Oh no. We're getting a visit from our sleep paralysis demon. Hey? Hey. Can you guess what I'm going to tell you? No, it's a week from now. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. <laughs> You're used to it by now, huh? The next full moon will be in one week. Are you prepared? Be careful, okay? And don't worry. I'll come see you again. July! We've made it through June, everybody! He is capable of doing something besides stalling. Let's go. By the way, one week until the next full moon. When I was little, I used to count the days before important events. Did you do that too? Oh yeah, I absolutely did that. <laughs> so are you ready for this big event? It's not the same as when we were kids. 
Did y'all count the days until like your birthday or Christmas or I don't know, your favorite holiday or something? I absolutely did that. I was so insufferable. I'd be like, mom, 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 it's only three more days until my birthday. She'd be like, yes, Caleb, yes, yes, it is. You're right. But like, oh, it's only two more days until my birthday. Yep, mm -hmm. that's true, yep. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh no. Confrontation music. How many times do I have to explain it? It's like I'm talking to a moron. Why would you even accuse me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom, right? Oh, jeez. Then can you prove it wasn't a girl who brought it and left it there? With that logic, this is never gonna end. I'm done with this. You're on your own. Yeah. <sighs> Bunch of Neanderthals. Wow. I will say, the mystery of this game excites me, but the social links are like 50-50, where it's like, ugh, to like, oh, I love this. There is no in-between. Yeah, they're the worst. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So sarcastic, yep. They're so bad. Try not to hold it against them. <laughs> they think like children. They just can't help it. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Sooner or later, they'll see the light. Then I'll earn their trust, and they'll learn to respect me. I don't mean to isolate myself. I'm just remaining detached. Someone always gets hurt in any relationship sooner or later. Oh, is that where you're coming from? Bro, you gotta, you gotta let it go. Avoiding getting hurt in a relationship means you will have no relationships. Relationships are about, in some ways, kind of playfully, safely hurting each other in those moments because it's like, yeah, we love each other, we care about each other. Anything that potentially comes over and pricks and pokes and stuff like that, it's all under the context that we're, you know, we're ride or die. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I suppose I've gone on long enough. I, I apologize. Mm. Oh, Gary seems embarrassed. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right. No point in having a meeting today if no one else is here. Let's go. His disdain for people, though, gives me a Dachi vibes, though, I will say. All right. Uh, let's cook with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, espresso. Can you help me out with cooking again? It's a lot for me to do by myself. I already have all the ingredients, so can you help me? Let's go. I owe you one. Time to cook. I recently expanded my outdoor exercise regimen, and I wanted to boost my nutrition and match. So I got some pork liver today because it's supposed right. to be rich in iron. But Ooh. I don't think it'll taste like much if I just boil it like usual. That's why I'm gonna try cooking a pork liver stir fry. Whoa! I already looked up how to make it. Think you can help out? All right, you can help out. Uh, yeah, you bet. Let's do it. Good to hear. You like this dish too? I've already cleaned the meat ahead of time. All that's left is to cook the liver, then stir the chives and bean sprouts in. Ooh. And that should be it. Wow, this is great. Yeah, let's go. It was a good thing I took the time for all that prep. They say a boxing match is decided before the bell even rings. That's true. Maybe this is kind of the same thing. Yeah. Iron athlete meal. That also looks pretty low calorie as far as meals go, so. He's not, he's not overeating by putting in tons <laughs> of, tons of Obviously stuff in there. Obviously this wouldn't have been possible without your help. I've still got a lot to learn, but it's hard to make time for it with all my training and stuff. Maybe if I attach weights to the pen when I'm flipping, hmm. I could kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he thinks. Akihiko could have totally been Killua. You know what I mean? A little bit edgy, obsessed with fighting, take things takes things way too seriously. But like Akihiko's got this like goober energy that's so fun. Like it's such a crime. He doesn't have a social link. Why? Why? Atlas, why did you think like that we would we would be like, oh, we only want social links for women. 
Because only straight men play our game and they don't care about gross boys. Ugh. Yeah. Awesome. I can't get psyched up without you there. You feel me? I've been slowing down lately, so I gotta go twice as hard now. Ah. Uh, here we go. Yep, you're in trouble. What is it? And what's with the scary look? What do you think you're doing? Here we go. Here Just we go. Practicing? Yep. Well, that's enough practice for you. Get your butt to the nurse's office. The rest of you, get back to it. Good man. The nurse's office? Miyamoto, did something happen? such a bad liar. You can totally tell he's going easy on one knee. Yeah. I know you have something to do with this. Sorry, but you're coming too. Oh shit. Consequences? I head to the nurse's nurse office with Yuko. I just had to with your mom about your knee. <laughs> of course. I forgot about you that. You're throwing caution to the wind, young man. <laughs> that blabbermouth. I want you to stop before things get any worse. You got that? Please don't do this to me. I need to practice. I heard, Kaz. Yuko! And you too? Take some time off, Kaz. Practice can wait till you're all better. I love the way that this social link is blended with Yuko's story and stuff. This is really good. This is really good. Don't have time. Huh? What's the rush? Yeah. Why do you do these things to yourself? You've been hanging around with Miyamoto lately, right? You must know what's going on. Oh. Uh, got a lie here in front of Yuko? I don't know anything. Stop. Stop. I don't want you to lie for me. I don't want you to get dragged into this. So I'll come clean. Miyamoto's trying to protect me. I feel like we're becoming closer. Yeah, I picked the wrong thing, yeah. 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 Nah, it's fine, we'll rewind, but... So, the truth is... Yeah. Good. And that's the gist of it. No more so enabling. I, need to practice. I have to win, or else... I know how you feel, Miyamoto, but... It all depends on me if my nephew ever walks again. So that's what's going on. I don't mind if he competes in the regionals. It's just the individual competition, so we don't have to worry about him bringing us down. Wait! Hey, what happened to practice? Wait! We were worried about Miyamoto. Guys... I'll let you keep training for now. We'll see how things go. But if I tell you to stop, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to listen. Why is it? Why, why, why are they? What? You'll be upset with me if I let you stay. Sorry, coach. I can't. Everyone. No! I... No! Down here. The rest of you, back to training. This isn't some power of friendship bullshit. No! No! How is your day? Ah! Yeah, I'm doing great. Everything's fine. I'm fine. We're fine now. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? The entire track team only has one brain cell and it belongs to Yuko. <laughs> here we go. Sorry you went out of your way to stop by, but it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's mm. nice not having those hyenas around. You're not going home yet? There's something I want to take care of before I go home. Mm. It's that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I have to hurry and narrow down my suspects. So, as you can see, we can't exactly hold a meeting right now. You can leave if you want. 
I think I'll stick around. You're probably busy all the time, too. Try taking a break once in a while. If you're not in a hurry, can you spare a few minutes? I'd like to share something. Oh, okay. Um, but I just got here to give him more points. Ah, damn it. A man without position, honor, or education? What does he cling to as he struggles through life? Are you seriously asking this question? Are those the only three things you could come up with? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? Well, a TV anchor woman was injured on the job while reporting on a story. More, okay. The TV station executives deemed it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine caught wind that they were hiding something, the execs threw the writer under the bus. They okay. said it was the writer who covered up the truth. They turned him into a scapegoat. And now, that man is blacklisted from the TV industry. His life's calling. Hmm. The same man who taught me the meaning of sincerity. Shit, okay. In today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, I want to lead an organization that fosters strength. I. And to do that, order is essential if I want to keep those with power in check. But Aguirre spoke with passion. His words seems truly heartfelt. I feel like we're becoming better friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> I want to build an organization that fosters strength. Sir, I just need to know if you'd like fries with that. Like, 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 like. Well, seems like a good spot to call it a day. Shall we head out together? Cheese. Part way with Onigiri, okay. Oh. At this time of rains past and leaves verdant, a human presence can be found within Tartarus, albeit a weakening one. I believe it best for you to hurry if you wish to save them. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, we'll do that eventually. Hey, Shoto, have you heard? Shadows are attacking couples now. I bet the shadow behind is one jealous and lonely son of a gun. How sad. <laughs> Hello. If I'm not mistaken, the next shadow will reveal itself soon. We have a full moon coming up on the 7th. I expect the dark hour that night to be eventful. This next operation will be crucial to my research. Make sure you're prepared for the next full moon. Hello. It appears that the number of the lost is increasing again. This time, however, it seems many of the new cases specifically involve couples. Perhaps the shadow's target is dictated by the time of the year. The deadline for the people? It is... Uh, the sixth. <laughs> Should we go save them? <laughs> nah, if they want to live, they can just awaken to a persona. It's fine. <laughs> there we go. Not a person. Uh. Alright. Send them back. I'll ask for an escort to do it. Alright. I'll go then. Just hold on for a little longer. Oh, that's fun. So Mitsuru does it because... Right. Apologies for the delay. I'll make sure this person is escorted back safely. That's a fun way to have personalized interactions there. Asking the real questions, though. How would you spend an extra hour per day if you had it? That's a loaded question. <laughs> is it? I find it kind of simple, honestly. It's not assuming anything is different We're about this spot. time other than Let's you just have another hour of it. There's no, like, negatives. Everyone else is getting the same deal as you, so it's just an extra hour in the day. What would I do with an extra hour? Uh, probably do about the same thing I'm already doing. It would just feel like it's daylight savings, you know? All the time, you know? I feel like the realistic answer is I wouldn't do anything different, you know? There's almost something sad about that. I think realistically, all of us would do the exact same things we're already doing, but with a little bit more of it. Yeah, if the rest of the world was stopping during that hour, that would make it a lot more of a, oh, you have an extra hour that nobody else has, and that could be kind of interesting by the nature of it being a secret. If that was the case, then I have no idea. No! You came! Mom and Dad, they... Ah, uh, here we go. I Thank you. I... I can't oh either. God, just keep fighting. Oh. I keep begging them to stop fighting so 
much, but they told me to leave them alone. <laughs> I made up my mind. I have to uh, run away Here we go. It's up to you. You mean I can do what I want? You mean it? And I'm running away. I made up my mind. I better start packing soon. Hey, what should I bring if I'm running away from home? I need Aww. lots of snacks, right? And my insurance card? <laughs> She's trying to do like the adult thing of like, and that's also what we need? Like that's really important? I should I should bring that, right? That's what adults do, right? Uh yeah, that should be enough. Really? Wow! Running away is easier than I thought. Oh, no. Just gotta decide when to sneak out. I go as deep in thought. Either way, I'm gonna give it a try. Don't worry, I'll be just fine, okay? I'm gonna miss playing with you, though. Oh, Maiko seems fond of me. I feel like we're growing closer. Yeah. I would absolutely take her to the door, yeah. yeah. Mom and Dad will have to work together to find me. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I gotta make sure I'm ready to go. Uh. Yeah, walked her home. Okay. Wait, Tanaka, what? Did that get your heart fluttering? Well, if you want to be successful in life, then come see me. Where am I? Hint. Pow. Do not reply to this message. Please contact us through an official inquiry portal and using uh, Commodities Corp. What a fucking goober. Oh? Oh, well, a visit is in espresso. Are you busy at the moment? If not, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. All right, let's go closer. <laughs> My, aren't you enthusiastic? And let's not waste any more time. My schedule is so terribly Act. Mm. I don't usually have time for your average Joe, you know. Hmm, of course. You should be glad you're such a handsome boy. All right, let's add a new word to our vocabulary today. Repeat after me. Placebo. Hmm, the stress is on the middle syllable. Mm-hmm, yes, placebo. Very good. You're feigning interest well. Yes. A placebo is a pretend pill. Basically, it's a medicine to give you peace of mind. Mm. Imagine this, a supplement to eliminate those unsightly love handles without lifting a finger. Or a car navigation system that uses real-time image data to make your commute all the smoother. Or at least make it feel that way. Oh my god. These are just a fraction of our unique line of products. <laughs> Wow, can, what, can you even sell those? Well, of course I can. In fact, I sell them all <laughs> the time. Our business doesn't provide tangible benefits. It provides peace of mind. Wow. Take emergency supplies, for example. Wow. People are safe just because they have them. Oh my God. Oh my god, I hate these companies! Holy shit! Oh my god! People in the US are so easily, like, taken in by these companies specifically. Oh my god. Do you know how many companies sell, like, if you are worried about a total societal collapse, go and spend, you know, your your, your, your money, you know, tons of money on this pack that will give you special electronic handheld devices and canned food or some bullshit. Survival kit shit, yes. Yeah, exactly. They're selling on the fear, basically, that, uh, uh, you know, oh. And then it's always, like, turned into, like, something else where there's another angle. It's not just the fear angle, but there's something else of, like, you know, nobody, they don't want you to know that, like, this is really important to have. 
As it turns out, <laughs> the more money people spend, the better they feel. Now then, that's it for today's lesson. You can pay me back when you make your first million. <laughs> I received somewhat questionable advice from President Tanaka. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? Mm. If you go back on your word, you might be surprised to find your profile suddenly on an internet dating site. I see this as an absolute win. 